September 2nd. Ray DeVito has once again got himself fired from a baseball card job. The first time it was in part for chewing on the packages and sitting there like a lobotomy patient while the pro football player made all the jokes. I didn't realize how valuable the cards are, so I'm opening them with my teeth and they're all <laughs> freaking out. This is the Ray DeVito way of opening a thousand dollar pack. With what appear to be fecal stains on his teeth, Raymond takes to screaming from the studio of one of his gentleman caretakers. Loaded to the gills on Lord only knows what intoxicants, Raymond starts making demands of Kevin Brennan. I need Kevin to be Team Ray DeVito. That's what I need, fucking Kevin Brennan. How about that? Shots fired. Shots fired. Be Team Ray DeVito. That's what I need. We're in this together. Kevin needs to be on Team Ray, declares the slow. They are in this together, he says. Uh, Carl, who I, I do like Carl. Sorry, I do like WATP. I think it's a great podcast. I do think Kevin and fucking uh, Carl, I want them to be cool again. Raymond wants Kevin Brennan and Carl Heberger to be cool again. I need them to be cool at some point. No one's funnier in this fucking whole podcast double thing than Kevin Brennan. No one's fucking funnier off that. That's not even, that's not even a thing. It's Kevin's the funniest. But the guy that puts together the best show has got to be Carl as far as like doing. And if they be cool, that'd be great. Carl puts together the best show, says the slow. So he needs them to be cool. No one's comedically, no one's funnier than Kevin Brennan. But uh, I, that'd be cool if they got on the same page. In the dullard mind of the slow, it would be cool if Kevin and Carl were on the same page. But uh, I do enjoy riffing with uh, Carl. But I need Kevin to be fucking cool with everybody. Kevin's beloved slow demands that he be cool with everybody. Even Carl will admit. Kevin Brennan's the funniest out of all of us. It's like it's 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 a no-brainer. Speaking on Carl's behalf, Raymond assures the audience that Carl agrees with the statement that Kevin Brennan is the funniest out of all of them. It's a no-brainer. He's the funniest out of all of us. A no-brainer, says the slow. You could anchor a boat with that irony. It's not the real Kevin Brennan, because Kevin Brennan would fucking super chat or take the fucking uh Take the fucking link, but he's a, he's a pussy there. Raymond shifts to taunting Brennan. The slow says Kevin is a pussy and that he cannot handle the heat of being on Rock Bottom Podcast. That's what I'll say. He's a pussy for not coming on here. He can't handle this. He can't handle the heat. The slow then launches into an unhinged rant. I don't know. You don't got to be here, man. I don't. Yeah, th there's some weird stuff because here's the deal. I do card openings and I do work with like families around and stuff. And there's certain things that is, um, yeah, like how, how about we re respect that? You know what I mean? Like you want to be in the Dalverse crate. You respect that I'm in the Dalverse and you respect me and you want to see me around, then uh, okay, cool. But uh, yeah, if you're going to be weird stuff and going to try to ruin, and I get it. Raymond becomes exceedingly incoherent, even by slow standards. There was a podcast fan there that was uh, just said something I was riffing about on a podcast about like being a passenger while someone else is getting pulled over for a DUI. Like, how come, how's it come that's not a joke? I want to hear that as a joke. And it's like, it was just something I said on a fucking podcast. It's like, yeah, it's not really a joke, but thank you for pointing that out. But yeah, when you're sober and someone else gets pulled over for a DUI, it's kind of insulting as a passenger to be like, it's like eh, the cop pulling him over. Like, I'm like I, I said he's cool. Like, it's insulting. It's bad. Like, I, I, I said he's cool. Like, some shit's going to happen. I'm the one that's going to fly through the windshield and die. Not you. What do you give a shit? Um, but I, t I articulated that on a podcast at some point. And that was when I was like, oh, when, I, was like, I never thought about doing that. Job, but that's funny. But even uh, Teams of Tame was saying when uh, I was talking about, like, um, talking about a funeral, um, about how they, like, sell you caskets and stuff. Like, when my dad died, like, the pillow uh, was, like, $400 for, like, a pillow. It's like, it's like God, how about we just get the pillow he was sleeping on. He seemed to really enjoy that one. By sending super chats, viewers try to bring Raymond back to reality, asking questions about his recent firing. Ray, what's the real reason you got fired? Cocaine? Ray? Come on, Ray, second virginity. 
What's going on? Uh, cousin IT. The slow refuses to answer. I used to lie all the time when I was a kid. I would just lie about everything. I never told my mom anything. And then when I did, I would just lie to her. I, I, I just did that. 